it's about to pop. It's easy now. And getting in deadly activity They are taking over the city In the name of power and fame They will do anything just for the game But the whole thing is empty and vain Cause they're causing people pain They're taking over They're all over So off the cover It's a show of power It's easy now your house. Make me feel as though you're trying so hard to impress me. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you so I had to quickly tidy up. You didn't say you were coming. How did you <laughs> find my place? Well, let's just say that you're not the only adventurous detective we have on campus, young man. Anyway, I told you down here last night. What? You know, there is something different about you that sets you apart from every other girl. Oh yeah? Yes. Talking about women or girls. I hear you have um, a harem of them. Different sizes, different shapes, and all, oh, even different colors. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh... So what else have you heard about me, Mademoiselle Detective? That will be avoiding my question, Adrian. Alright, okay. Seriously, I... I don't pretend to be a saint. But uh, I'll tell you this. I sure haven't been with a real woman. But like I said, there is something different about you. Mm. I thought you were going to be lying to me. You are disappointed then? Oh, uh, no I'm not. I just want to know what I'm up against. Fiona, I love you. I love you so much. I want you to have that at the back of your mind. No matter the odds. Stop it. Please just, just stop it. Okay? We need to draw the line between love and lust. Okay? If I'm going to have a relationship with you, it has to be devoid of amorous advances. I intend to preserve my womanhood for the man blessed enough to become my husband. Hold on. You're kidding. Are you telling me that you're still a virgin? Only my husband would be privileged enough to know that answer. My goodness. Oh my God. 
You're quite something. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. All right, enough of the interrogation. What do I offer you? I have juice, wine, anything. Mm, nothing. Okay, let me just start with the water. Fine. Okay. I'll be back soon. Huh? Just feel free. Thank you. Honestly, man, I feel love like I never felt for any woman in my life. I feel so special each time she comes around me. Man, I've never heard you talk like this before. She must have hit you like a fresh wave. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but just one problem, man. She doesn't want sex involved in the relationship until marriage. <laughs> oh, are you guys talking about marriage already? Mm. Not directly. But man, Miggy, that girl is innocent. She's pure and I'm yet very brave. That is a great combination of spices in a woman. My perfect girl for a wife, I tell you. <laughs> but I know you as the lady's boy. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that overall the hot chocolate, bread-taking, yummy, axi bitches of so campus winning? Please! That you want to settle down for an uptight, sexually inexperienced girl? Man, Capone! I'll try. Okay? I I I'll, I'll try. Man, she is what with you. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. It's great to see you tamed at last. Maybe. Can I have, can I have this one? Are you... Okay, what about Bibi? I don't know. I don't know. Man, you know she's been nothing but fun to me. Okay? She's been nothing but fun. Yeah, and I know that she's dangerous to competition. <laughs> oh, cross that bridge. Oh, get there. Come on. Come on, babe. Kept us waiting. We thought you weren't gonna go for your orientation program today. I thought I told you girls never to come near me again. I am not looking for friendship. Some search for friendship, while some simply have friendship thrust at them. Believe me, girlfriend, you are very, very lucky. Some girls will give up anything just to be friends with us. So what can I give up? for you girls to leave me alone. Good. A few minutes of your time is all we ask. Time. Well, I don't have it! Not now, not ever! Don't make friends with lesbians. <laughs> Look, girl. We could actually force you to have this meeting with us if we want to. But it is not our style. We actually pet people we have interest in. So what is it going to be? 
a peaceful meeting or a forceful one. Look here. If you girls do not leave me alone, I will not only report it to the school authority, but I will also invite the police. Bravo! Wake up, girl! You are now in the university. Come on, what are you going to tell them? That some group of fellow students volunteered to help you familiarize with the school environment. Come on, girl, you're not going to do that, are you? You girls, you girls should, should stay away from me. For the last time, stay away from me. problem. Aren't you supposed to go for orientation anymore? How can I go? Then I'm just telling you, how can I go when two secondary lesbians are pressing my life outside? How can I go? How? Lesbians? Yes! Is this supposed to be a joke or what? Does it look like I'm joking? It's been happening for days now. Everywhere I go, they follow me, they press me, look at insult! Let's go. I want to see what they look like. Come on, let's go, let's go. girls have been on my trail for, for weeks now. And I'm serious, they were here, they were talking to me. Why do you think I stumbled into the house like that? Why? What? I can't. It's okay, let's go in. Come on, let's go. Why did you allow her to stray into the enemy's territory right under your nose? I'm sorry, Mother. I'm trying all my best to discourage her from Adrian. She caught his charm long before she gained admission here. And you do know that smells danger for her, don't you? I'm really bothered. Hmm. Tell me as well work in our favor. You know that the brats are on her trail? They were on to her even this morning. Hmm. She's already a hot cake. Zainab, the bats must not have her. That is your commission. Mother Vampire, should I open up to her now? No, we we'll stick to the original plans. She gets to know two days before the initiation. That's it. Yes, um, Frank um, is working on a contract for us from the Minister of Works Residence. So I want you to pick up two clean girls. Get them ready tonight. He will come by and pick you girls up. I want the Minister to have something to remember. I want that contract sealed. Trust me, Mother Vampire. Hey, 
Hey, what's the rush? Look, the day is still young, and I've not had enough of your company yet. I haven't had enough too, but you see. <laughs> okay, uh, thirty minutes. Oh, please, I... oh, all right, all right, all right. Fifteen. <laughs> okay, five. Just five minutes, please. I don't want to go in, seriously. I don't. Why? Ah, afraid of temptation? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I have to leave now, please. Mm. 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 All right, I'll let you go. But I'll miss you. I had a nice time. Ah. Uh, and uh, here. Call me. All right. Come here. Your lips taste like banana. <laughs> okay. Call me. Who was that? Who? Oh, that. <laughs> a friend. That car. I can swear that I've seen that car somewhere before. Um, I, I wasn't expecting you. Huh? I didn't know you were around. Hmm? Oh. Let's go inside. Yes, but... Try and always tell me when you're coming to my house. Am I supposed to do that? Yes, ladies. This is 150,000. Share it among yourselves. Thank you so much, Minister. That is quite generous, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. This is just a taste of what to come. Just treat my guests nice at the party. And the reward will be so wonderful. I take that to mean we have the contracts, Minister? Sure. Just tell your madam to supply me with the classiest babes. See, and your reward will be very, very wonderful. Now, if you girls are ready, Mr. Frank will drop you. All right then. Uh, you're almost done. All right, girls. Put this on back. Let's put this on the top. Oh, I didn't miss that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. You didn't tell me you were sleeping out last night. Did you look for me? I saw that guy drop you out just now with those girls. Well, don't they say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy? The university is supposed to be a blend of both, isn't it? We just went to catch some fun. I've been watching you since I came into the school, Zainab. And you have changed a lot. You used to be very decent and so responsible. That's why my father allowed my association with you. Why? How could you allow school change you so much that you now move around with bad girls and up to the extent of even spending nights out with them? Look, Phil, what is all this? Why all this lecture this early morning? 
Or am I such a little child that I don't know how to handle my life? I don't like that life, Zainab. I don't like it. You know those girls more than I do. They are obviously prostitutes. I don't even want to believe that you're one of them. Wait. Could that be... Could that be how you managed to fix up this place? Look, Fio. If you were not my friend, well, liar, I would have slapped you for that stupid statement that just came out from your mouth. Nonsense. Zainab! 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 Queen Mother, that girl is on a long thing. For Christ's sake, she's still acting very naive. <laughs> you don't worry about her. There is still time. For now, the vampires are not having their initiation very soon. I will personally take care of her. But for now, there is something urgent we need to take care of. What is it? The Minister of Works is having a get-together, you know, something like a private party for his benefactors and godfathers next weekend. Oh, that is going to be really big. You can say that again. A lot of money is involved. Three million naira is set aside for the supply of babes. And I got a hint that Duane has got the deal. Duane? What a chick. We have to corner that contract. I mean, that contract is not meant for them. It is meant for us. As for the minister, I will take care of him in my own special way. I trust you. I trust. You know what? You call Cheryl. We need to leave for the ministers immediately. get into my guest room without my invitation. Um, sir. Sorry I had to lie my way in. This is unpardonable. Whoever allowed you people to get into my guest room without my consent must be sacked immediately. Um, sir. There is no need to strain your nerves. All we want is just a private discussion with you. Please. So who are you? Well, my name is Beatrice Bamingo, Bibi for short. And these are my friends, Cheryl and Princess. Hi. Hi. We're from the State University. Bamingo, that sounds like the deputy senate president. Any relation? No, 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 not at all. It's just a coincidence of identity. Though I would wish we're related. Because um, being related to a top government official gives you easy access to a national cake. You are really interested. So how do I help you? Um, yes. Um, I lent you train a gig for your political friends and associates next weekend. I want the contract for the supply of babes. <laughs> I'm afraid you are late. I've already assigned that job to someone else. I know. And I'm also aware that she sent three spacemen for your sampling last night. <laughs> That's interesting. Do you really have your ear on ground? Oh yes, Minister. Not just my ears. I have my eyes wide open. You see, I don't supply adulterated babes. Unlike the samples you had last night. Babes that your pimp had already sampled. What? Mm-hmm. You see, Minister. Dwayne has no class. That is why I brought my own girls for you to test the difference. <laughs> That's interesting. You see, Minister, with all due respect, I want to show you the difference. 
I'm all yours. <laughs> really? Really? You can say that again. Come on. So? To the bed. <laughs> Here I come. Yes, good mother, yes! Good, you're a genius. Girls, no one else could have put such a stump and walked away with it freely. Oh, cut the excitement, girls. There is still a lot of work to be done. This is another opportunity to showcase why the bats are the most flashy girls on campus. I want you to select 20 girls for that party. I will do that immediately, Queen Mother. I'm leaving for Paris in two days for shopping. Every selected member must pay 30,000 Naira for their outfits. Okay. I will send that loot immediately. Alright then. Let's go. <laughs> I have to be a part of that gig because there is no way on earth I'm going to miss the minister's party for anything. Tell her no. Me too, princess. I can't miss such a party for anything. Please, and don't say no. Please. Please, no. Please, please. Okay, all right. You want to eat me up? Oh, no. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, I will make sure your names are on my list. Yeah, you're good. But first of all, there's something you have to do. What is that? You girls have to raise the sum of 30,000 Naira each for your shopping attire from Paris. Chicken That's the money. money. That's the money. And you have to do it latest tomorrow afternoon. You hear me? Mm. No problem. Chicken chicken. Fine. You babes know that the bats are the most beautiful girls on campus, right? Yes. Of course. Yes. And this is going to be a hell of a competition. Whoa. You hear me? Yeah. So it is going to be first come, first serve. If I were you, I would go look for my money. Just start writing my name, sir. First thing tomorrow morning. Better go look for your money now. Better go look for your money. Good thing. Sweet girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. I'm sure my boss will like you guys for guests. I'm sure he can pay. Yeah. It will really cost him a lot, you know. Come on, Dad. Money is not the problem at all. Mm. I'm sure he's going to settle you guys generously. Then yeah, no problem. Let me get going. going. for you. Oh really? Uh -huh. I've been around the campus doing one or two things, uh -huh. you know. Anyway, we have our set to get each, you know. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you girls are late. 
What do you mean too late? It's now to 12 noon. Well, my list got full an hour ago. No, now, uh uh. Just to help us, you know, getting money these days is hard. What do you want me to do? I wasn't the one that fixed the list. Our Queen Mother did. There's nothing I could do. No, Princess, you can do something for us because we've been through a lot just to raise this cash. We can't lose out now. Just try and fix us in somehow, you know. We'll fix you if possible. Okay, you know what, Princess? We'll give you 5k each for your own pocket. And maybe you'll just remember two chicks' name now and fix our names. How you say? 5k? Each. Are you serious? Mm hmm. Uh. Okay, now let me see the money. Mm -hmm. Here's our 60k. Okay. For both of us. Yeah. Is it complete? Uh -uh. Of course, now. Here's my five grand. Mm -hmm. Now, I have something there. This uh -uh. Thing. Princess. <laughs> What's Princess? Do you know what you stand to gain at that party? Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. Oh, Are you nice. sure it's complete? Count it now. Anyway, trust you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Have fun there. Right. Take care. Take care. Okay. Oh my God, I'll try and do something. <laughs> All right, girls. How can you let such a juicy contract slip through my fingers, Frank? How? Look, believe me, Dwan. I'm at a loss. I don't understand why the minister took away the contract from me. How can you not understand? You are his pimp on this campus. Frank, I hope you're not trying to pull a fast one on me. Because if that is what you're trying to do, you know what I'm capable of, don't you? Come on, Dwan. I mean, how can you be talking like this? You know me too well. Look, all I'm interested in is my 20% cost, that's all. We've been double-crossed. I wish I knew who. And the minister told you nothing? No. Hmm. I smell blood. And whoever that is trying to stand between that contract and I has just touched the vampire still. Frank, I need you to put your nose on the ground. I have to sniff this person out. Trust me, Duan. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. Okay. All right. See you later. have a word with you. I've told you girls to leave me alone, haven't I? You know, if you know who I am, you would know that I always get whatever I want in this school. I don't care. You can go to hell. Oh, no, no, no. You leave her. Don't worry. 
You talk yourself into trouble one of these days with your big mouth. I know how much caution I've imposed on my girls to tolerate you. Don't take that for granted. You don't know who you're talking to, do you? And who the hell is she, if I may ask? My name is Baby. Don't worry, in due course, you would know who I am, okay? But right now, let's just start by saying... Baby, I... stay away from her. She's under our care, and you know what that means. And who the hell do you think you are to tell me which territory to tread on or not? Watch and see. Fiona, are you alright? Sure, yeah, Fiona. Now I said I demand to know what that was all about. You can't just keep me quiet. You can't. I'm going to against your relationship with Adrian. Just thank God I was there on time with my friend. <laughs> so this is about Adrian. I thought they were lesbians. You have a lot more thinking to do. And how to disentangle yourself with Adrian. Now that you've met Bibi, avoid her like a plague. Look. I appreciate the fact that you and your friend came to my rescue. But hey, I can take care of my business myself. I don't, I don't need any of you having sleepless nights on my personal issues. Actually, it is called personal issues. Trust me, Fiona. Personal issues are not handled alone on campus. You will need us. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll explain to you at the right time. What do you mean by that? I said at the right time. Oh no, Zenab, I insist. Sounds right, okay? Let me spice up your senses a bit. Bibi, your main competitor for the heart of a dream happens to be the head of one of the most dreaded female cult group on this campus. Jesus. Hey, hey, hold on, Madam Juliet. Your Romeo happens to be the capone of the most deadly male confraternity on this campus. And I doubt if he has ever whispered such romantic information into your ears. Keeping these girls. You said you made adequate arrangements. Yes, I did. Uh, I had to sacrifice extra one million at the last minute. I just hope she's not trying to mess me. Everyone is getting worried, as you can see. If they are not here, we we'll always start going.
You scared me. Go back to sleep. God. What happened? I said it's nothing. You're bleeding. Hasinab. You're keeping something away from me. Please, you can't just go out and come in this late and with this big wall. Oh, Fiona, what is all this? Okay, Madam Inquisitive. I was attacked by three boys who almost raped me. Jesus. I only managed to escape. God. You see why I always tell you about this, your late night. Oh, Fiona, stop this! I'm experiencing enough pain here. Please don't add your complaints to it. Please! I know. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm concerned. You really need to see the doctor. This thing is so, oh. so big. Certainly not under this dark sky. I'll take care of myself. I'll go back to sleep. Observation because I don't want to take chances. But I thought you said it's, it's, it's just a minor injury. I know. <laughs> I don't want any trouble with your father. 
So you remain here until I'm satisfied that you're okay. All right? I don't want you to go and strain that. Not a word about this to my father. Hey, this is too serious for you not to let your father know. I didn't ask for your opinion here, doctor. Besides, protecting your patient's privacy. Isn't it one of the ethics of your profession? <laughs> really? In that case, maybe you should also know that I'm expected to report every gunshot injury to the police. How about that? My father will reward you handsomely for that. <laughs> you know what, Beatrice? You're really a spoiled child. I just pray that someday somebody can talk some senses into you. Gone dead, that you did not even bother to contact me. Isn't that what the venom of a python does to the heart of its victim? Stone dead. So you found out. I was wondering how long it would take the ice to break. Look, you just stay away from me. I warn you, stay away baby. from me! Oh, baby, baby, ho, 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 ho. Baby, calm down. We can talk it over. There's nothing to talk over. There is absolutely nothing Look, to talk uh, over. I cannot be associated with, with a heartless guy like you. I can never, okay? Look, I... Shh, 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 shh. Shh. Okay. Yes, Mama. I'm fine. Welcome. Why are you crying? Nothing, Mom. I'm alright. No, you are not. I hope you have not gotten yourself into trouble. <laughs> you see why we say you should not attend this school? Since you stubbornly left the house and moved to this school. My daughter, every day my heart skips. I keep having nightmares. Mom, I'm okay. I'm all right. How is that? Your father is not the issue here. Tell me why you are crying. It's you and dad. It's you and dad that is making me cry. This trick Saturday is my matriculation. And, and, and my other students be there with their parents and their relations. Only me, only me that has been abandoned by my, by my parents. It's okay, is that why you are crying? Wipe your tears. My daughter, your father and I love you so much. We care so much about you. Don't worry. I will persuade your father to attend the matriculation with me, okay? Thank you. 
Now clear your eyes. Hmm? My angel, clear your eyes. I have something for you. Some money for your school fees and your upkeep. Mm. Thank you. So, wipe your tears. We need to talk, Fiona. We have nothing to talk about. If you would excuse me, I'm talking to my mother. We really need to talk. Who was that? <laughs> Mom, it's nobody. It's some guy that doesn't pressure me. Don't worry. No. I'm sure I've seen that face in my nightmare. Mom! No, I'm sure of that. Oh my god. My daughter, you have to be very, very careful. Yes, ma'am. I'm so scared for you. You have to be very, very careful. I'm scared. Hmm? You know, I have to be very careful. Okay? You still have a tied up muscle in your stomach. But actually, it pays to be friends with me. Everybody wants. I am not everybody. Now, if you would just step out of my way, let me go. Look, we have to talk. What about? It's obvious that we have two complete people and two different ones and so nothing happens. So go and stay with your hemorrhoids of cold girls and let me be. Look, 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 look. I control things in this school. So it will pay you if you stick your nose as close to me as possible. Hey, hello. Look, intimidation sparks up the worst passion of hatred in me. So get the hell out of my way. All right, all right. I'm sorry, all right? I just want you to hear me out. That's all. Then you can walk. I promise never to bother you again. I promise. I'm just giving you two minutes and you better make it snappy. This is going to be hard for me. I'm sorry I couldn't bring myself to telling you about my cult involvement. But believe me, I have never been so scared like the fear of your knowing about me. That's strange. I thought all cold guys have a heart of steel. Anyway, that doesn't change a thing. I never really wanted to be a cultist. I'll tell you a secret that no one else on this campus know about me. <clears throat> My parents are big time pastors. Servants of God. In fact, my father is the general overseer of Spring of Faith Ministries International. Adrian? Oh my God. That is a very popular church that has its branches worldwide. How 
come? Nobody knows that you're Bishop Afam. Shh. Hey, bring it down. Bring it down. How come nobody knows you're Bishop Afam's son? Because I deliberately didn't register with my son. Deliberately? You see, I lived my growing up years in strict, straight jacketed regimentary life. All because I'm a pastor's son. I was never allowed to mix with my peers for the fear of bringing scandal to my father and the church. Growing up for me was University admission offered me the opportunity to break out from the shackles of my family. Until date, my father doesn't know that I no longer bear his name. I see. So you joined the. So you felt the best way. You could break out from the shackles of your childhood pains was to join the cult. Up to the extent that you you even became the capone. You know what? I never really wanted to be a cultist. And how I became the capone of the pythons is Another story entirely. But believe me, I want out. I wish I can turn back the hands of time. But I guess it's too late now. I'm so neck deep into it, especially now that I'm the Capone that such contemplation means instant death. Adrian, there is nothing impossible for a heart determined to put things right. Nothing. I live each day waiting for death to catch up with me. Until I met you. I want to live for you. For us. If there is anyone that can pull me out from the abyss which I drifted into, it is you, Fiona. Please, don't walk away from me. I love you so much. I love you too. You, you are, are, where my first love ever. And you brought me a special kind of joy that I have never experienced in my whole life. But right now, I'm scared. Nothing is impossible for a heart that is determined to set things right. You just said. Fiona, we've found love. We must make it work. We have to make it work, because I love you. I love you, baby. I love you too, so very much. I'm hungry. Are you? <laughs> Let's go for lunch.
you come to CPP, I haven't had time. Well, I, I've been busy trying to salvage things with Fiona. Besides, Bibi is no longer going to be part of the scheme of things in my life. So what's the point? Well, I heard she's getting suspicious and worried already. I can't help that. Can I? Careful, my man. It's a dangerous part that you are treading on. You and I know that. I know. And you know that I can protect my girl. BB is a hard meat to chew. All I'm suggesting is why don't you go see her? Okay, make her feel like all is well until you are able to wangle your way out of this dangerous web that you are weaving. Do you understand me? Yeah. I think you've got a point. Why, I always got a point. Papi. My man. Uh. gotten yourself a new plaything. And I see you left your hospital bed to tell me around town. <laughs> I keep a close watch on my personal interest, which is you. I can't afford a heartbreak if anything bad happens to you. You know, you don't have to blame me. Sweetie, I'll wait for you in the car. Don't you step an inch, you church rat! Only to think I was about grooming you into the bats! Not knowing you prefer to be an enemy. Bibi, Bibi, stay away from her. Let her be. Did you get that? If I don't, what will happen? I said, let her be. I've warned you. I've warned you, Bibi. Adrian! empty and vain cause they're causing people pain they're taking over they're all over so off they cover 